How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Lions Eat Noobs, and welcome back to more Pokemon Heart Gold. Last session was quite a session, big session. I mean, I defeated not one, not two, but three gym leaders of Kanto. And we only got, like, three more Kanto gym leaders to go. So, yeah, obviously the most logical conclusion would be going straight to Pewter City. Of course, if you played, um, if you played uh, the... If you know, like, the maps of Kanto, basically you would know that uh, the only way to get to Pewter City right now would be Diglett's Cave, because we can't go west of C Cerulean because of that path that's blocking away. So, naturally, the only obstacle, logical course would be going through Diglett's Cave. Of course, you know, the only problem about that one is that um, there's a huge Snorlax blocking the way, so... Naturally, the only way we could do that is we're gonna need the Poker Flute from Lavender Town. And I, as you probably already know by now, I am not going through Rock Tunnel. I absolutely hated it back then, especially in the Gen 1 games. And I don't know how it fares in the now, but you know what? I ain't taking that chance. So, no, if we're gonna go to the Lavender Town, we're gonna, I'm going all the way through, going to go through east of Fuchsia City, which means there's gonna be a lot of trainers to battle here. Just saying, so. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be quite a grind, I can tell you that much for sure. Forgot to do your homework. Then why are you out here, kid? Have to phone your mom. Well, okay, phone her after the battle. Remember, folks, don't battle and text on the phone. It's impolite. Not to mention, it kind of draws your focus away. Alright, I'm just gonna arrange my team, because we're all looking pretty good here. Alright. Where are you? On Sunday days, I think the kids would rather be playing in the playground than studying in class. Oh, is this, uh, this is our first, uh, yeah! Our first teacher! Interesting. I don't really know much about the teacher class. I don't know what they do. All I know is Santos got a poison jab, and, uh, yeah. I graduate, so I don't need to learn, learn anymore. Of course, no, learn more knowledge never hurts, but, you know. I already finished university, so I don't need to go back. I don't need to go back. And there's Apom! First time seeing Apom in this game, I mean. I mean, it's funny in the heart gold, because, like, well, Apom was, as a loan, was just not much to use. Of course, then here, we can we can get um, every Palm as well. All you need to do is learn double hit. All I need for Apom is to learn double hit, and that's why it evolves an Amber Palm. Which is a good Pokemon. Didn't want to lose. Well, the teacher got schooled! I'd love to do some more battle preparation review with you. Oh, um, okay, sure. I guess more tutoring never hurts anyone. I'm looking forward to talking to you again. I'll be sure to give you a call if anything comes up. Thanks, I guess. A rose incense. I believe that's what you need in order to, um, breed, uh, a Badoo. But you're honestly just better off just catching a... You know, and a, what's his name called? Uh, and Roselia! Yeah, I'm gonna forget Roselia. Okay, okay, I don't need to be pushy, I'll show you my Pokemon. Calm down, dude. The Poke fan, Boon. Spinda! Ah, interesting. I mean, Spinda's all your Pokemon. I mean, you use it one time, and apparently its stats are just all kind of balanced all over. It's one of those types of Pokemon. I know it's got a lot of designs too overall. I, I mean, I remember Spinda being in Pokemon Go. Only available just by get making like, um. What's it called? You know, um. Just making five curveballs, great curveballs in a row. Only way to get a, get something like that. And Typhlosion is close to leveling up, so might as well just go for it. Volbeat! I think it, uh, I think Volbeat's a lot better than Il Illumise. Cause like the two Firefly Pokemons. volbeat has got better physical attack, Illumis has got special better special attack. I like Volbeat more. Volbeat's better. Alright. Level 50. Nice, the big 5-0. Yay, that was great! Yeah! Losing is fun! Yes. What is it now? Yeah, you don't need to tell me for the 16th 
60 million time already. Do we get the idea, Mal? Oh, great. More battles. Oh, a school trip to Lavender to a radio tower for social studies. Yup, nicest boy right there. Lavender Town, you know, that big old scary place that used to be full of all monsters? Now it's a now it just has a radio tower. I mean, does this lighten the mood? Um well you decide, really. Yeah. I'm still never getting tired of this song right here. Uh, weeping Bell. Crowbat, you you go out, do the thing. To flap your wings and fly. There's, there's that. Take up to the sky. I love the I love the stage two animation where he's just flying, or just flies in like a shuriken. That's a pretty badass crowbat spray actually. The crowbat animation, to be honest. And stadium two, where it's flying animation, how he attacks with fly. He just turns sideways and comes at you like a spinning shuriken, which yeah, is pretty cool, to be honest. Alright, I'm gonna move on. Typhlosion, burn everything in sight. So I'm, it's like it's walking with a, it's like I'm moving with a walking flamethrower here. I got a, I got a walking flamethrower here. And I'm not afraid to use them. Taste flamethrower. And look at that. This is one sprite where the, where it's actually, where the flames are actually coming out of the mouth. As they should. Yeah, toasty. That is toasty. You're wickedly tough. Ooh, wickedly tough. That's a new one. I mean, that's quite a new one. Alright. Cut. Eh, I hope I don't need more cut any more times anytime soon. Fine, I'll battle you. My dream is to fly with my beloved bird Pokemon. I mean, you could just do that naturally using the fly HM. I guess not the same feeling. I guess it's Firo. I think I already, I've already seen Firo, but I'm pretty sure we saw Firo enough of times already. Yes, there's the poison. There's the poison. Oh, and now we use the mirror move too. I forgot Firo can also learn mirror move. But hey, at least I didn't get poisoned. Now, oh, sent slash. slash. He used the move that's in his name. No field power bonus. Hero again. Fine. I mean, it's a cool fall hawk, though. Mohawk, however. Your move failed. Oh, this one's faster than me. I guess what? Did you get, like, the... Speed tie? No. I guess, it, I guess well, this one was faster. I wonder why, though. Eh, no matter. I got it. With no problem whatsoever. No fuss, no muss. I think that's how it works, that's the expression. I mean, it had to rhyme. Everything has to rhyme at some point. Yeah, good stats. And great speed too. I can dream, but I can, can't can ever fly. I mean, sure. Keep dreaming, I guess. All right, now then. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of battles here, just saying. Fine. I'll battle you. Our time catching my prize Pokemon. Oh my. I mean, you got something worth it. Oh, it's just this thing. It's just the starter trio, is that it? Alright, just use Poison Fang. It'll be quicker this way. I don't, need to, I don't even need to go for that. Just use Poison Fang. Seed Bomb. <laughs> well, that's a decent move, but not much against against the Poison and Flying type. I mean, of course it did only 6 damage. What'd you expect? Yeah, that's it. Do that. Shield the shell down. Charmander. Is this all it is? All right, fly away. And here comes the dive bomb. Flamethrower, it's got actual moves. God damn it, he missed. 
And fire spin. That's okay. I wasn't planning to go anywhere anyways. All right. Let's try this again from the top, shall we? Now, touchdown from downtown is on fire. Well, just his tail. Just the tail's on fire. Everything else is, seems to be okay. It all checks out. I'm keeping this music in because I love it. And yeah, Squirtle, who saw that coming? Alright, just pick a drain it. <laughs> I mean, Squirtle's got a big mouth. No teeth. <laughs> Otherwise, he can't bite down to, one Charmander's, to another Charmander's neck. Like in the origins, Squirtle bit down on Charizard's... What? Oh, it's Skull Bash! He's going for Skull Bash. Yeah. I think... Yeah, I mean, yeah, Skull Bash, you, like, boost your defense up every time. It's a charging move to boost your defense up. I feel like Skull Bash should do a lot more damage because, you know... Hidden with the head. It's a very powerful weapon. Like, your head is a very strong and can do lots of damage. And hello, I see a Suicune. In the water yet again. <laughs> and he's getting tired at this point. I think this is the second to last sighting of Suicune. Because then after that, um, yeah, following me here, I'm starting to understand what Suicune's after. To be honest, I would like to give you this for myself, but I want to be honest right in front of Suicune. That's why I'm sharing a clue with you. It seems that Suicune prefers a hilly place near water, somewhere north. Now, there's only one place that could be, actually, and I'm going to spoil it right now. It's it's actually in, um, near the, um... Are you a trainer? Yeah, you are. It, yeah, there's only one place. It's, like, right back to the... Right past the Nugget Bridge and, um, near the end of, um... Like, it's the same place where you saw Misty and Misty's date. And interrupted Misty's date, I should say. It's in that same plus place. So, yeah, this is like the second to last counter with Suicune, because then after that, uh, once you see Suicune there, then that, I think that's the point where you can actually challenge, challenge it and actually catch it. Yep, Zen Headbutt. Even though you're not a psychic type, so no no stab for you. And bite down with poisonous fangs. Fangs of venom. Yeah, tasty. Eaten roasted Psyduck for dinner. Where did I meet this Psyduck? I don't know. Wanna tell me? Can you tell me? Where and when did I get my Pokemon? But if I check my trainer memo, I'd remember. Okay, that's it. Okay. So, west of Future City's over there. Fine, we'll battle. I can fit in a quick battle when I'm in the midst of preparing a meal. Well, try not to burn your food, dude. It's not healthy for ya. Oh, Sudo Wudo. You're no tree. That's why your name is Sudo Wudo. That means fake wood. Yep. I mean, that's, uh, that's really it. Ain't no bonsai, though. That's it. Heal up. Nice and good. Oh, God. Rock Tome. Oh, sure. Your hit moves with ease. But when I try and hit with a 70% accuracy move, I miss more often, more times than I should. Whatever. Kick a drain away. There we go. No way. Nothing to it. More health for me. And a nice level up to boot. Yeah, now he wants that level 50. Yeah. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, boy. Hey, how about we exchange phone numbers before we eat? Oh, are you inviting me to... Are you inviting me for lunch? Is that it? Always got any Pokemon I'll get you, I'll give you a call. I'll answer pretty quick. Oh, no no sharing your food with me, huh? Oh, well, we got a lot of gates in this area. What to expect? Who knows? Bow down before my regal Pokemon. Oh, I know what this guy has. Pretty sure I do know what this guy's had. What an interesting team. So he's got Kings. Nido King, which is 
Very underleveled. A very underleveled Nido King. Okay. That takes care of that. Jeez, like only level 29? Just, what? That's so weird. And a Slow King! A, the new, the brother of the Slow Bro. And also level 29. Weird, his Pokemon are very under level for some reason. And he survived, even though he's like 20 levels below me. Okay. And body slam. I mean, it doesn't help that Sloking has less physical defense than special defense. I thought this would do more. And a Magikarp! That's not royal! Well, it's level 65! That's probably the highest trainer level I've seen, well, so far. It's the king of all carps. And it still has Flash because it only has a weak move pool. It has Bounce too, of all things. Yeah, some tackle only did three damage. Just gotta do it like... How many times more? Like, uh... Is it three divided by like 200? Yeah, that comes down to like... Okay, I'm trying to jump to the calculations in my head. 60... Okay, so it's like 6, 23, divided by that, 67! 67 times in total for Lapras. How dare you mock royalty? I just want to do calculations in my head. Put it to voicemail already. Ugh, if I don't answer, it's just gonna keep ringing. You know, it gets annoying. Yes, 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 yes. Spare me the drama already. I'm going to skip you. I won't skip you, though. Okay, let's try this. Double battle between a couple. I'll give you a little hint. Don't you think my girlfriend's much stronger than I am? Women who don't take love seriously and who are reckless might get hurt. Hmm, okay. Good tidbits. Now let's dance with the couple. Kadabra and Psyduck. What an, inter what an interesting pairing. Earthquake away! Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure the, yes, the Earthquake could take on this. Can one shot Kadabra? Wait, can one shot Kadabra? Psychic? I don't. Can Psyduck? I don't know. Let's try this way. Earthquake! Doesn't affect Crobat! Now that's a true pairing in heaven! No survivors except Crobat, who has, has, who has the power of flight, thankfully! See? Nothing to it! All too easy! You're the strongest! Waha! <laughs> oh, exchange. Oh, we're exchanging numbers between a couple. Well, that's interesting. Give me a call if you think of anything. Oh, good. You. What do you want? Agility is a key attribute of bird Pokemon. Is that right? Well, okay then. It's Perry. Farfetch. Yep. Farfetch. Always been a joke, no matter what. Until Generation 8, where he got an... Not only did he get a new Galarian form, but a new evolution. Which ev which involves having to go with three crits in one battle. Well, still not the weirdest evolution. The weirdest evolution is Galarian Yaw Mask, where, you know, you have to... I don't know, what is it? Take a few points of damage, and then go into the like, certain tree? That is so com convoluted, my god. Like I swear, at some point, it's like it's like that SpongeBob meme, like where you first you do the, first you do this, spin around, stop, double you take three times, and then you know get you get the idea, you get the joke. That that has to be a new that's gonna be a new evolution at one point. Or just that has to be it. That's gonna be a new evolution point at one point, Scarlet and Violet. I mean that would be one, right? Spoink! Who has probably the award for probably the most 
most um, disturbing Poke po po Pokedex entry. Apparently, if it stops bouncing, it heart its heart stops. That's depressing. I mean, what about when it? But what if? What about when it's time? When it's time to evolve into Grumpig? It doesn't bounce, except when, on its tail, actually. But that, that's about it. Well, that was all too easy. And now your spoink died. It faint stopped bouncing, so now it's probably dead. I killed it. I'm a monster. There might be something here. There has to be something, right? Check out my Pokemon. Just look at the coloring. Plumage. 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 Plumage? I don't know. Plumage. Whatever. Taylo! It looks so weird. It looks so. It's bald. Well, taste ice beam. Hope you're hungry for some ice beam to the beak. Well, that takes go that one. Firo, you know swallow. That's not. That's disappointing. Fine, you get another ice beam. Mirror move failed. Yeah, chilled up with a bit of never melt ice to boot. Taste it. There we go. All too easy. Shoot, not good enough. It's not good enough. Nothing's ever good enough for you. No? I thought there'd be something here. Alright, north to la Lavender Town's up north. Ugh. There's something item here that's probably mocking me. And you know what? At some point, I'm gonna need cut because, you know... But you know what, I ain't gonna... I rather than just going out here and just, um... Boot take... Then repetitively going back to my po po PC box. Take out Sentry just to cut one tree and then put him back in the box. No, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna take the simple way. I'm just gonna forget Focus Blast for now because, you know, I can go, but always go back to Golden Rod and get that thing back. So you know it's okay. Or if I really wanted to, I can teach him a different move instead. Alright, cut down this tree. So much easier. Oh yeah, and also, there's something I also never knew about before. Apparently, in like, some cases, you could cut trees. You could cut the wild grass as well, thus cancelling out more encounters rate with wild Pokemon. Yeah, that was a pretty neat thing. I never knew you could do that in some games. Alright, Calcium. More of this attack for you. Give your firepower a little bit of an extra kick in it. Oh, okay. You're not a trainer. Bassa, bassa, bass. What? You okay there, buddy? You're not having a stroke, are you? I mean, what the hell is that about? Alright, maybe this will snap you out of it. This is great, that was so weird. That was so arbitrary. Are you just trying to be. An, is that your idea of a bird call or something? Because I'm not impressed. I'm not amused. And then Spiro comes out. Boo boo. Freeze! You gotta chill, man. You should chill, dude. Get down with it. Not into it. Pew po po po. Okay, I, I think he's a, he's a he's got he's a little bird brain. Chun chun chun, chun li. What are you, are you okay, dude? Who are you? I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. You seem like fishing. Am I right? Or am I right? People say I have keen eyes. Yes, you do. Yes, yes. Just as I thought. Fishing fan. We got the super rod. Oh yeah, I forgot. We could talk to people and get. We could talk to these guys and fish rods, getting fishing rods. But we got the super rod, which is the best one. And I think this is the same rod place you can get the fishing rod from, isn't it? All right, what's over here? Hello, passerby. Have you seen Diglett's cave? Nobody can go through it to get to Rue, but there's a sleep at Snorlax the entrance now. Someone has to wake it up. All right, we gotta go to. Well, first we gotta go to Lavender and get the thing. 
Oh, the time has changed because it's... The sun is slowly setting here. Another couple to battle. Let's go. Alright, I'm about to show off for Terra. I have to look at my boyfriend's face and pop while he's battling. Vic and Tara. Okay. Another couple. Magmar and Sunflora. One of these ain't that one of these don't add up right. Well, I know. Yeah, I got the simple solution. Yeah! Perfect combination! I mean Sunflora, I feel like is one of those pop is like the probably the go-to grass type for Gen 2. If you're not running if you didn't start with Chikorita, that is to say. Cause I don't think there are many grass types in that one. But oh there's always for I forgot, I keep forgetting, there's Blossom too. Which is also I probably actually yeah, probably Blossom too, I forgot about that. But it's just I guess Blossom just too forgettable, maybe it's overshadowed by Vile Plume in my opinion. I just think Vile Plume is cooler. I think you need a sunstone for that? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh no, my plans! Oh no, no! Oh jeez, I ruined someone's plans. They're not gonna get it on tonight, I guess. That's nice. Okay. Lapras, you're going here now. Get nice and strong for me. The wind has changed direction! Is that a fancy way of saying the sun is set? The sun has gone down? Alright, these battles are getting a little out of hand. Might as well skip some of most of these. He used Tailwind in order to boost up the speed of Pokemon of his team for the next few turns. It's a great support thing. And Noctowl, what a joke. But Ice Beam's running low. Alright, alright, just don't skip this part. I like this. This one's my favorite part of the track, to be honest. One shot. It's almost like it does a lot of damage. It's like almost got another melt ice too, and stab boost to boot. Nice stats. Everyone's got great stats overall. Whew. Yeah, coming on down, 